Atalanta three at Anfield. Um, I'm honestly not entirely sure how to pick the bones out of that. Liverpool were, you know, fine, if not great, to start the game. After 15 minutes, Liverpool got worse. After 15 minutes, Liverpool got worse. Uh, half time came, that was a fine 15 minutes. After 15 minutes after that, Liverpool got worse. 15 minutes after that, Liverpool got worse. And 15 minutes after that, Liverpool got worse, Andy Bo. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really, really bad. Really, really bad. You can't sugarcoat that in any way, shape or form. It just looks like... And I hate to say it, but it just, some, will, some will say I'm letting them off the hook with this, but it looks like a team who's absolutely knackered and dead in their feet at the minute. It yeah. looks like they've put so much to get into the position they're in this season. Probably on the face of it shouldn't be in the position we're in, just based on sort of the quality alone, especially the fact it was supposed to be a transition year. And it feels like it's all sort of caught up with them. And I think the only way this season can be saved at this point, it seems, it seems ridiculous to say as we're, as we're leveling points at the top of the league, but I think the only reason, the only way this season can be saved is the lads coming back. It's Jota, who looks like he's a wee bit of sharpness tonight. Yeah. Gakpo hasn't played loads this season because Nunez, to be fair, has been better, but, you know, looks a little bit sharper than the, the ones who've been playing the whole time. Um, Trent the same um, and obviously Alisson to come back is a big one as well but there's players there who need a rest there's players there who should have a rest um, but all that said they just didn't look interested tonight they didn't look like a team who uh, had any sort of intensity about them at times Kevin Keller's sitting on the ball for about 20 seconds and a part of that sort of lack of urgency on his part but a part of it's he's no movement in front of him um, I think we thought we'd rock up tonight and just win the game like we have done more or less every game at home in Europe this season and what culminated is the, the biggest of mountains to climb next week now. Yeah, and the, the, the thing I think that frustrates me the most, Joel, with it is, uh, uh, you know, I sort of mentioned it at the top of the show there in, in quite a probably churlish way, but yeah. it was how much worse they got progressively throughout the game. Like, it's, it started off and maybe there was one or two of them who just couldn't find a red shirt. And honestly, by the 60th minute, I felt like there was about eight or nine of them who just couldn't find a pass to, to another Liverpool shirt. And that is that is the concern. You know, Andy mentions the sort of, there's, there's mentality aspects of that, of course. I think there's a real lack of composure, which has yeah. which is, which is reared itself at times, reared its head at times in, in this season. But there's almost like a technical thing there as well. There were so many times where it's just like a hopeful ball into here or you know almost kicking at one of their men just hoping it goes through somebody's legs or something and that was the thing that, that got to me the most I think one thing I've noticed and I noticed it on Sunday at Old Stafford is I feel as if in the middle of the pitch we're getting crowds out very easily yeah. in recent games and tonight was another example of that and I think what we underestimated was the physicality that Atalanta brought to the game and what they did was they used their phys physicality to bully us. I felt like Liverpool got bullied. And I haven't yeah. seen a Liverpool team get bullied like that, well, since the last time they lost at Anfield today, almost did last season, you know. And again, that was another European performance where it just all went to pot. And I think tonight, that happens again. And I think when the going got tough, as you say, they ran out of ideas. Tiredness is a possible factor as well. And I just think when they were getting crowded out in the middle, because of Atalanta, we're using the spaces wisely and very effectively, which which again caused our problems to, to, to escalate further. And then that feeds into the whole running out of ideas, tiredness, because, they, because they're having to think a lot more on what they should be doing. But then even when the odd time we got through, again, the, the lack of ideas was there, and it was and it was just that, 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 that the sharpness that we've had in previous games this season. It wasn't there tonight, and that's the most galling thing because you're coming into it and you're looking at it on paper. You look at Atalanta, sixth in Serie A, the not far off Roman in the hunt for a possible fifth Champions League place. But I was still coming into it thinking these need to be respected. Although we should win, and I thought that we'd win three one tonight, just for, just for a matter of fact. We had to take them seriously because they've done us in Europe before at Anfield. And I feel like, I mean, we might come on to how the goals were scored later on, but I feel like the goals they scored were more or less carbon copies of the two goals they scored at Anfield last time yeah, they played that was, here. That I think, was a think dead people, rubber, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was more, so. yeah, it was, it was sort of a dead rubber, yeah. But you'd have to go back and watch them, by the way, if, 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 you, if you want to see what I mean. But I, 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 but I feel like they were carbon copies of the two goals that they scored last time they came here. And... It was just weird. It was just one of those rare nights where we get played off the park in Anfield. And, you know, no matter how how much you want to focus on how bad Liverpool were, which, which I'm sure we will, it's also one of those nights, really, where, you know, at the end of the game, I wanted to clap At Atalanta off because they deserved it. Do you know what I mean? Like, they, they, played, they actually played well for all how bad Liverpool were. YouTube, press the button, become a member of the Anfield rap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. 
the best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day. It is the Anfield Wrap.